Hello all, I'm here today to show you how to put together a vacuum pump. The reason why you would take it apart in the first place would be just to check the gaskets to make sure that they're not ripped or uh, scratch or anything because if you use it in that condition, it will uh, more than likely leak. So I'm gonna put this one on first. And there are two Phillips head screws that uh, hold, it, hold it in place. Make sure that it's nice and snug. And then the washers go on. Make sure that they're not blocking the hole. Then this part sits on the washers and then held down with four hex bolts. And then just uh, screw them in. And what you would do is uh, you don't crank it down hard to begin with, and then you go across from the one you just did. There's no s torque spec or anything. Just make sure that they're, they're tight. Fine. Now, the, the second gasket sits on there like this, and put the top on. And then there are five Phillips head screws that uh, hold this on. Just go around one more time. Make sure they are snug. Now, you screw in the two gauges onto the back here. Just down, just hand tight. You don't have to put a tool on them or anything to tighten them in. Now that the pump is together, I want to test to make sure that it, uh, it does work and it doesn't leak. So you have just a plain container of water. I'll put it here. And this is the inlet of the pump. Now I'm putting both tubes in the pump because normally uh, I would have uh, tape or something holding these down so, so they won't jump out and have water all over the place. But since I don't have uh, any tape, I'll just hold both of them in here, turn the pump on. The pump will pull from the blue tube and you can see you can see the water coming out the other tube so and I don't see any leaks on the pump there's nothing coming out externally so now that the, the pump is uh, is done it's working now to empty the pump all you have to do is pull the other tube out until no more water comes out and then you just turn the pump off. Thank you.